welcome to SourceCAD tutorial. This tutorial is dedicated to measuring areas using Hatch tool. Although you can measure area using the area command, which is the direct input method in AutoCAD, and you can find the tool here also. You can use it to make the area calculation easier. So let's see what's the advantage a Hatch tool will provide over using this tool. Suppose you have got variety of areas like these ones measure area of a certain object for example in this case you want to a measure the area of this object excluding the areas of these two little circles so let's go and use the hatch tool go to hatch select this area and make a hatch pattern you are not supposed to be concerned about the type of hatch and its properties just make any type of hatch it will do this requirement and close this hatch now Select your hatch and right click properties. Now go to the hatch properties, take it a little down, and here you will find the area. The area is 70.8902 units. Okay, so the area of this region, which is excluding these two circles, is 70.8902. For your reference, I'll write it on the screen also area was 70.89 so 70.89 let's make it a little bit bigger uh, use a dimension of 0.5 okay now we have it clearly 70.89 okay so let's go to area object and select the object okay so this entire object is now selected and the area is 70.9892 and we obviously don't need this area we are concerned about the area excluding these two circles so now what we want to do we need to exclude these two circles for that let's go to area again and now subtract area and subtract these two circles for that go to object select the circle and select this circle and press enter now go to add area an object and add this entire area and now here we have the value 70.89 70.89 so obviously this method can also be used but this one is a quite time taking process when compared with the hatch command now what advantage is it going to provide over these objects let's say we want to measure area of these two objects select the hatch tool, go to hatch, select your hatch pattern, close it, select your hatch, and there it is, the area of 69.5954, uh, so you don't need to select these two objects separately, just make a hatch, select it, and there you go, you have the area, including other properties as well. Now, for an organic shape, something like this, which has been created with a spline, you can use the same tool again. So go to hatch, select this area. Now one thing you need to make sure, island detection, which I have discussed in my hatch video also. So if you want to create, if you want to clarify your doubts about that, just I'll suggest you to go to that video. So you need to make sure that outdoor island detection is always on in this case, because if you ignore the island detection, then entire area will be selected. So make sure outdoor island detection is selected and I have clarified it well in my tutorial which I have mentioned just a bit earlier. So now select this, select your hatch and here you have the area. So this is how you can select and you can measure the area of an object using hatch tool. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.